what most car buyers are doing in the current car market with these big fat car prices. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, also known as Rapunzel. Well, with an audience of over 45 million people and near 350,000 subscribers, we thought, why not poll our viewers to see how you car buyers are responding to the current bloated car market? No need to guess, right? Right. So a few days ago, we posted a poll to ask you how you were responding to the severely high car prices right now and both new and used cars at the car dealership. So here's the poll. So we asked, with the car market being very high right now, how many of our homework guy viewers have decided to keep their cars a little longer until the vehicle prices become more reasonable? Please let us know below. Well, meanwhile, we'll keep you up to date with the automotive news and car price updates because that's what we do. Well, with over 3,400 votes, our audience has spoken. 77% of you said you're following the homework guy advice here on the channel and you're going to wait it out. Smart people, yeah. all of you, all of us here at the homework guy team. We are so proud of you guys. Yeah, I love hearing that. 12% of you said that your current car is unfortunately falling apart and you're stuck. Well, woe be you. You'll have to buy a car sooner or later anyway. If that happens to be you, binge watch all the videos here on the Homework Guy channel. Also get plugged into one of our many playlists we have and make sure you're up to speed in all the nuances of the car dealership. Best of luck to you. 8% of you said you don't care about car prices. You just buy whenever you get the itch. <laughs> There's a few Ew. of you car buyers who have that much money. Well, funny thing is, I've known many car buyers like you. They pop up into dealerships, pay whatever the price is. Quite often, they just write a check or if they finance, they only let the loan run a month or two or three and then they just pay it off. If you're in this category, you should only be doing this because you have a lot of money to a waste. A lot of money to waste. And losing a few thousand bucks or several thousand bucks has little or no consequence to you. More like several thousand bucks right now. Yeah. And finally, 3% of our respondents said they plan to buy their leased car. Yeah. Well done, you guys. We have plenty of videos out covering leases, so we'll pop a few of the examples here up on the screen now. If you have a lease from 2018, 2019, or even 2020, and it's coming due soon, you're almost guaranteed to have a great residual value on your contract as compared to current market values. And buying your leased car is likely to be the best car deal you can get right now. Without a doubt. So look at the residual values and compare it to the market. It's almost 100% guarantee that you can get a steal of a deal by just buying your leased car. I can't believe 77% of you're sitting this out, I just love it. You know, a very big factor in bringing car prices down is, well, it's a majority of you people <laughs> refusing to pay those prices. Yep. That's how you influence the car market to get their act together or suffer the consequences, as in no car buying customers. Exactly. Most of you traders sell your cars way too early anyway. So be patient like nearly 80% of the people are and wait this baby out. Well, thanks everyone for joining us today and make sure that you share this video with all your family and friends. We need as many people being patient as possible because it's the large number of folks that help influence the car market. And at 80%, we think that's fantastic numbers. Oh, one last thing. We just put up a poll for those of you who are considering buying this year a new car. Check out the poll on the community page. How much did the dealer mark up the price of the car over MSRP? That's right. Go take the poll. We'll be sure to share those results on Sunday. Well, thanks everyone for joining us here on the video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter here with the amazing Elizabeth Rapunzel. Well, we got to go. In fact, we got to go to a, a great birthday party. Do you know that? Oh, awesome. You didn't get the memo? No. All right. We're off to a birthday party. <laughs> Even if all the plants are going to die? Even if all the plants are going to die. <laughs>